Hai semua, Assalamualaikum Selamat datang ke channel Cikgu Rashida Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good evening today I'm going to explain one of subtopic from kinematics motion is free fall motion ok what is free fall motion free fall free fall is the downward motion under the influence of gravity acceleration due to gravity is a is equals to negative g where g is equals to acceleration due to gravity that always directed towards the value of g is equals to 9.81 meter per second squared okay in this subtopic the equation for free motion is we have three equations the first one is v is equals to u minus gt v squared equals to u squared minus 2gs and the last one s is equals to ut minus half gt squared okay uh, actually we have uh, some types of free fall motion the first one when the object is dropped or released or falls from a certain height, student must be must know the u is equals to zero. The hidden information is u is equals to zero meter per second, and the displacement is equals to negative because below the reference point. So the question is always ask them to find the, to or to determine the velocity just before it hit the ground or the time taken when the object hit the ground the second one is object is thrown downwards when the object is thrown downwards the hidden information is u is equals to negative the negative sign shows the downwards and the displacement is always is always negative because the below the reference point so the question us always ask us to determine the velocity just before it hit the ground and the time taken when the, the object hit the ground the third one is when the object is thrown outward from the ground so when the object is going outward the displacement is equals to positive because the above from the reference point and the initial velocity is positive because it's going upward and when the the object is released is reached at the maximum height so the hidden information is v is equals to zero meter per second and when the object is going downward so displacement is negative and when the object is reach the ground so displacement is equals to zero meter and um, we must remember when the, the time taken the object is going upward is always equals to the time taken the object is going downwards Okay, and the last one uh, when the object is thrown upward from the top of the of building or cliff so when the initial velocity is positive and the displacement is equals to negative because the downward and when the object is going upward <coughs> the displacement is positive and when it reach at the maximum height the velocity is equals to zero and when the object is going downward so this displacement is negative okay let's we we do some example okay the first one 
Aishah drops a pile of roof singlets from the top of a roof located 8.52 meter above the ground. Determine the time required for the singlets to reach the ground. So, the student must, uh, the stu actually, the student uh, must draw a diagram from the equation. So this is a building and the shingles and the u is equal to 0 meter per second because uh, there is a, in, in question there is a drop so drop u equals to 0 meter per second <coughs> and the displacement is negative 8.52 meter okay what is the time taken when the object reach the ground so the given information is u equals to 0 meter per second. The displacement is negative 8.52 meter. So we choose the suitable equation. So we use s equals to ut minus half gt squared. So we substitute the information given and we get the time taken. The shingles reach the ground is equals to 1.32 second. Okay, next example 2, Alicia throws her mother's crystal vase vertically upward with initial velocity of 26.2 meter per second. Determine the maximum height which the vase will rise above its initial height. Okay, what is the information given? The information given is U initial velocity is equal to 26.2 meter per second. Uh, the initial velocity is positive because it's going upward. And uh, we must determine the the H max. H max, we know that hidden information when the H max, the velocity at the H max is equal to 0 meter per second. So, you must calculate S. So, the suitable equation we are going to use is V squared equals to U squared minus 2 GS. So, we substitute the V is equal to 0 and the U is 26.2 squared minus 2 times 9.81 times S. So, S is equal to 34.99 meter. Therefore, the H max is equal to 34.99 meter. Okay, we go to the next example. A stone is thrown vertically downward with a speed of 12 meter per second from the edge of a cliff 75 meter high. What is the edge speed just before hitting the ground? From the, from the question, we transfer the information given to the diagram. So, the, this, the object is thrown downwards so the initial velocity is negative 12 meter per second and the displacement is negative 75 meter because uh, the object is uh, the because the displacement is below the reference point so how to determine the velocity just before it hit the ground the given information is u equals to negative 12 meter per second the displacement is negative 75 meter so what is velocity or speed? Speed just before it hit the ground. So we use the suitable equation is V squared equals to U squared minus 2 GS. So we substitute all givens and then we get the answer is 40.19 meter per second. The question, uh, the question is uh, we must determine the speed. So the speed is scalar, so just we, we, we just write the positive, positive uh, the magnitude, so 40.19 meter per second. Okay, and the last example is a stone is thrown vertically upward with a speed of 12 meter per second from the edge of a cliff 75 meter high. A, how much later does it reach the bottom of the cliff? B. What is the what is its speed just before hitting, and C. What total what is the total distance did it travel? So how to solve this problem? So 
example 4a we transfer the question to diagram so u is equals to 12 meter per second because uh, the object is thrown upward and then the displacement is negative 75 meter because the below the reference point what is what is the time taken it reached the ground so given u is equals to 12 meter per second and s equals to 75 meter and what is t so we choose the suitable equation s equals to u t minus half g t squared so we substitute all given and then we get the time is 5.32 second For B, you, uh, the given information is U equals to 12 meter per second and uh, T is equals to 5.32 second. So, the question asks us to determine the velocity just before heating. So, we use the suitable equation V equals to U minus GT. So, U equals to 12 minus 9.81 times 5.32 second. And we get negative 40.19 meter per second. And the last one is the question asks us to determine the distance, the distance, the distance on the air. Okay, we transfer the information given to diagram. So D1 when the object is going upward, and then it reach the maximum height. And D2 when the object is going downward until it reach at starting point. And D3 uh, distance between the starting point to the ground. So the distance we are going to determine is D1 plus D2 plus D3. So the information given is U is equals to 12 meter per second. So we use suitable equation V squared equals to U squared minus 2GS. And at the maximum height, hidden information is V is equals to 0 meter per second. So, we substitute uh, 12 squared minus 2 times 9.81 S. And S, we get 7.34 meter. So, D1 is equals to 7.34 meter. And D2 also 7.34 meter. And D3 is equals to height of building. So we add all this distance and we get the total distance the object travel in the air. So the answer is 89.868 meter. So that's all for today. Uh, actually, I uh, thank you very much for listening this lesson. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera.